Welcome back to the First Time Home Buyer Show. I'm your host, Esti Klassen. As you know, the First Time Home Buyer Show is a platform where we get to share stories and learn from one another, grow and do and believe. As we know on the First Time Home Buyer Show, these are the stories we love to hear as they inspire and motivate us on a daily basis. And of course, we do have content coming to you live every weekday this night, every weekday at 7 p.m. It is Zaman Tungwa Kumalo with the Private Property Podcast. And of course, if you're interested in farming, agriculture, the life of the land, and we have Mbali at 8 p.m. every Tuesday and Thursday. And do not forget the Home Shopper Show has moved to Monday and Friday evening at 8 p.m. Literally, it is what it says it is. Are you looking for your perfect home? Well, shop online for your perfect home as Chad goes around Johannesburg and tours absolutely amazing homes. Don't forget to comment throughout the show because tonight we're chatting to the absolutely amazing Lebuhang Lebepe. Lebuhang is a property mogul who has a vision and a mission to restore dignity within luxury accommodation amongst our people. Good evening, Lebuhang. How are you? Good evening. How are you? Esther? I'm well. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank you for having me. And thank you again because I really like what I like. I love how you said in your bio that you do it for your people. Yes. What did you mean by that? I mean, we need to restore our people's dignity. Um, I mean, we have been left out um, unattended to for a very long time. It's high time that as people, especially as as the people of Kala, we need to come take charge of our lives. Don't depend on on the government anymore. Don't depend on on free things anymore. Let's take charge of our lives. Let's take things matters to our hands and bring change and positive change to our lives and make sure that our cha- our lives are, are bettered and, and are, are changed for the better in order for us to, mm. to achieve whatever that we really want to achieve for ourselves. And have you done that? Yes, I am. I've done a bit of that. I still haven't scratched the surface. I am still yet. <laughs> Um, I mean, I'm, I'm on a mission. Yeah. I am. I am. My, I have still have my drive to to change and to do, uh, bring bring about the change that will restore our people. So I have. I'm just in the beginning of of doing that uh, myself. Yes. Mm. And how how did you start on your journey? Or let's let's take it back to when did you realize that there was a problem when it came to accommodation and our standard of living as people of color? When did you realize um, that no? we need to change this and i'm going to be one of the people who make this change i uh, i think it all goes back to to the fact that i was born and raised in a in a squatter camp mm. so in a tin in what i like to call a tin house thank you for watching subscribe click the like button thank you